who's they? Open up. Oh shit. All right, we're about to find out who's they. Fire Gosh. Damn. Oh my god. Oh yeah, nah. You got to go. Oh, oh this bitch knocked out. Yeah. That's clean as fuck. All right, what is going on, gang? It is your boy Taco here. This is going to be part two of four of book one for me for Avatar The Last Airbender, the first season. Now, this is gonna be, like I said, this is gonna be broken into four parts, but if you're wanting to see the whole first season, I will already have it uh, pre-recorded and put on my Patreon before any of this is on YouTube. I know I've said that a lot, but I just wanna make sure people know. If you don't wanna wait and you're waiting for the next parts, you can go check them out there. And I've only I've only told myself that I'm going to make sure that I do book one because I've been gone from YouTube so long. I don't even know how I was going to perform so I could put these out and it could just be crickets, you know. But if you know if there's some engagement and people are liking and sharing and stuff like that and these kind of get some traction going, then I am more than willing to keep this on uh, YouTube because the show itself is just it's amazing. The last episode, like I said, there wasn't really much to break down with it. It was really like a I don't want to say a child friendly episode, but it was. It was a little lower than the rest of them. A, a lot of these episodes have been crazy so far. So let's let's get back into this and let's see what's going on. I'm excited to get back into these characters. That looks like a painting and that looks really nice. It's a beautiful shot to open up to. What's for dinner? We've got a few options. First, round nuts and some kind of oval shaped nuts <laughs> and some rock shaped nuts that might just be rocks. <laughs> Seriously. What else you got? He's like, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> no, something's God, chasing them. Yeah. Shouldn't we run away from huge booms, not toward them? Right. More earthbenders. Awesome. An earthbender. Better approach cautiously. No. Hello there. <laughs> I'm Katara. Does not want to be followed. They got some dope establishing shots, right? Uh, you must have me confused with some other kid. No, she doesn't. Uh, they saw you earthbending. <gasps> Are you not supposed to do that? They saw you doing what? They're crazy, Mom. I mean, look at how they're dressed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would happen if they caught you earthbending. Uh-oh, who's they? Open up. Oh, shit. All right, we're about to find out who's they. Fire nation. Gosh, damn. Are oh, they running this shit? Wouldn't want an accident, would we? Yeah, that's fucked up. It's sometimes so hard to control. Portions. They don't even have you nothing to give you. Ones. Oh, he need his a beat. They're thugs. They steal from us. Stealing from them and then at the same time treating them like shit, but you need them. Like that's so uh let me not comment on real world stuff, but that's so ugh. They could take Haru away. Well, like they took his father. Two things can be right. Katara can be right and her, his mom can be right at the same time. They rounded up my father and every other earthbender and took them away. We haven't seen them since. Mm. The only way I can feel close to my father now is, is when I practice my bending. I lost my mother in a Fire Nation raid. It's Fire Nation this fucking up. Everybody. That's the thing. Like, Whenever people take over areas, they beat into you metaphorically. They... <laughs> They met. I shouldn't laugh at that. They metaphorically beat into you this sense of you need to hide what you are, or you can't reach the levels that you should be. Suppression, right? So now, even in their whole village, it's like almost shunned upon to even show his full potential and how great he really is with his earthbending. So that's that's real slick that they put that in there too, and then them both bonding over there. You know what the Fire Nation has done to the, both of their families is uh, is special too. Please, there's no one around to see you. They're gonna. The someone's about to see it. He's strong too. But somebody saw that shit though. They know he did it. Someone saw him do it. Or the old man went and told that the kid saved him because he's scared of the Fire Nation too. That's him. That's the Earthbender. You a oh whole ass thing. What are you doing? Just scared to the point that they can make their own people snitch on each other from fear of like retaliation. It's so sad. That really happens too. 
I know y'all saw Django. Y'all seen uh, Samuel Jackson? <laughs> Two things can be right. Ang, did you get all that? Sure, sure, I got it. <laughs> Do you remember your cue? Yeah, yeah, just relax. You're taking all the fun out of this. By this, do you mean intentionally being captured by a yeah, come on, eh? firebenders? Exactly. Get out of my way, Pipsqueak. How dare you call me Pipsqueak, <laughs> you giant-eared cretin? You better back off. Seriously, back off. <laughs> <laughs> she roasted his ass. He actually, he tight. That lemur, he's Earth oh, hell. I think it's gonna take the lemur in. <laughs> Appa is such a cheat code, bro. He can go anywhere. It's surprising that anybody was ever able to defeat the air nation, because it's like, dude, we have the ability to like escape if we want, so you had to sneak up on them. There's like so much unsaid stuff going on too, like the fire nation just themselves, like even that little plant that they have there, just watching it like spew all that smoke in the air. It's like they're pol they're pollute. We haven't seen anybody else cause um, like pollution at all. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> ain't no way. What kind of Guest dishonors his host by interrupting him. Take him below. Oh boy, you wallin'! <laughs> if you have any illusions about employing that brutish savagery that passes for bending among you people, that's fucked up. Forget them. See, even even I'm sorry to pause again, but even that dialogue, that brutish savagery, like the way they're talking to him is degrading as fuck. Like if it. I'm not going to get into it, but y'all know what I, y'all, y'all know what I'm hitting at. I can't believe this is a kid show. Cause like you uh, watching this as a kid, you're not picking up on that. I would think if you are, you're a pretty smart kid. Katara, this is my father, Tyro. Oh, he found his dad. Have some dinner, Katara. Oh, he black. <laughs> Katara, I admire your courage. He's not, a, he's and a grown man. Your youth. It's easy to stay strong when you're like, you're really young and stuff like that. Some of you may think that uh -oh. the Fire Nation has made you powerless. It is the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. Hearts that will okay, remain Katara. when all rock and stone has eroded away. Let us fight for our freedom! Got to hit her with the cough. Yo, that was an amazing speech though. She killed that. And that's why he let her finish it too. He didn't even interrupt it because they've already broken their will. Yo, this show's different. He was gonna stop him. He like, nah, let it, let her do her thing. He wanted to test it and see. Yeah, let me see if they try and have some, some, some backbone in them. I can't. Can't leave all these people. I'm not giving up on these people. Katara's a goat. I hate when you get like this. <laughs> Come on, we better hide. Katara might be the best character. Which was it, a buffalo or a bison? Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is. <laughs> you feel me? That's not really the point, is it, sir? I'll decide what the point is, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Bro is crazy. Sir, what? That was the captain you just <laughs> threw overboard. There's the intruder. Stay back. Oh, I'm damn! They just surrounded you. You can't win this fight. It's time to fight back. Y'all see that shit? Let's get to it. Y'all cannot be that timid right now. Look how many of y'all there are to them. You failed. He's trying to break her will too. Pick your head up. <clears throat> Thank you. Get him. Yeah, let's go, Pops. For the Earth Kingdom, Thank you. There's enough of y'all to, to f these dudes up. They made a condensed rock. He cold too, don't look at it. They like compressed the coal together to make that. That's dope. <laughs> Pin him to a wall. No, please. <laughs> I can't swim. Don't worry. I hear cowards float. Hey. Good. Good, good, good on them. I love that. And it feels. Oh, I should wait. I should wait until the end. Oh, no, I'm going to say it now. Whatever. That injection of youth into those people and her giving them inspiration again is. It's amazing. It's awesome. And I'm happy that he got to get back with his father too. My mother's necklace. It's gone. Oh, sh oh sh that's not Zuko. Boy. Mm, what a way to end the episode. Damn. Uh, 
for y'all, y'all will watch it all as one. But for me, I'm going to have to wait a day. I got to let my eyes rest. Um, a- another amazing episode. And I already kind of spoke on what I liked about it. And uh, it was really a standout episode for Katara and, um, you know, like her mission and what she what she stands for and what she wants to do for people and her just her her morals and things like that. Awesome. I loved it. Avatar hasn't missed yet. I'm going to tie this to another couple episodes later. So if you watch this, thank you for watching. And uh, episode seven will be next. The spirit world. The ancestral plane. He's awesome. His powers are clean as fuck too. Turns out clouds are made of water. Can instantly dry himself. Like they don't even have to add that, but just the fact that they do is so clean. Hey, you didn't let this happen. You can't put that burden on yourself. Nothing to do with you, but there's no one who could teach me how to be the Avatar. Piazzo mm. said that Avatar Roku would help me. He died over a hundred years ago. How are you supposed to talk to him? Ancestral plane. Uncle. <laughs> He's so cool. We're closing in on the Avatar's trail. Why don't you join me in these? Is he Aku? From Samurai Jack? His uncle's Aku, bro. I swear. I, I'm gonna look it up after this episode. I hear it in his voice. Get out of the water. Very well. On second thought, why don't you take another few minutes? I'm gonna assume his uncle is with him on this trip, not just because he needs somebody to watch over him, but because he doesn't fit into the Fire Nation at all either. He's so chill and relaxed that he might have been exiled himself, even though he is still like a man of honor. Help! Oof. How is that cheering me up? Cheered me up. Ow. <laughs> Every one of these will be a tall oak tree someday, and all the birds and animals that lived here will come back. She has so much wisdom to be so young. My village desperately needs your help. As a kid, that responsibility, man. And these people think he's probably already mastered everything and ready to end the war. I feel like it's not going to be long before people are second guessing if he's even able to fulfill his prophecy. You are the great bridge between man and spirits. Right. That's a tall task. Hey, great bridge guy. Can I talk to <laughs> That's a tall task to ask for him. Yeah. We're all gonna get eaten by a spirit monster. <laughs> <laughs> Something's up. Earthbender? Oh! This is the Fire Lord's brother. How do you know that in the Indian? West? Once great General Iro. Once great. Now, he's our prisoner. Y'all don't want that. The once great General Iro. What did you do? He still shouldn't have to face this alone. Good job, Soka. Even though he be saying some wild shit sometimes, he has his own morals and code that he goes by. I hereby ask you to please leave his village in peace. Okay. Well, I guess that's settled then. I've seen like a Funko Pop or something of that thing before. My name is. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Oh my god! Oh yeah, nah. You gotta go. That thing's causing mass destruction. I command you to turn around now. That's it. He needs help. You almost knocked my boy out. I don't want to fight him unless I. It looked like you just slapped him. Did he take him? Looks like there's been a landslide, sir. Those soldiers are so dumb. I thought he slapped him. I didn't know he was trying to take him. I wonder if it's mad about the the land. Oh! Now that sucks. He's gone as. Where are you taking me, boy? He. <laughs> you once laid siege to it for six hundred days. Damn, he sees it as just war. It sounds like it doesn't sound like he's remorseful for it at all. Unless he's this is him about to get away from these dudes. He dropped something. Oh, he left an imprint for, for Zuko. He's so clever. I would be shocked if the Avatar Ooh. without him. The sun is. Oh, amazing. he's still in that state. That's fire, though. I bet that would be scary to see yourself as like a ghost. Spirit world. <laughs> yeah, that's Uncle Iroh. The fuck is that? It can't. <laughs> the way the ground's hilarious. He can't use his powers. Shinron over here. Oh, that's the fire bearding avatar. You're Avatar Roku's animal guy, like Appa is to me. 
That's his animal? Yo, this fool had a dragon? Like a Targaryen? Let's get it. I kinda wait for Game of Thrones uh, or House of Dragons season two. We're gonna have fun with that. I might make it a Patreon exclusive. My channel's not big, so it's not like, you know, I'm gonna get a bunch of interaction on it and stuff like that. Oh, wait. He saw Aang? What's the problem? How? He's different. Corporal, tight in the prisoner's handcuffs. Why you sound like he's from Texas? <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Uncle's different, dog. Now that looks fire as fuck. I hate that I keep saying that's fire, because there's no pun intended. You finna jump out that thing. So he doesn't just have to beat the Fire Lord, he has to stop a comet too? What is going on with Avatar right now? It's a calendar, and the light will reach Roku on the solstice. Now y'all can bend Earth. There's no way he gets away from y'all, right? He must be dealt with immediately. I put him in a rock prison. Our best hope is to go back to the village and wait. Oh, poor Katara. Oh shit. The Avatar. Go get your uncle. Come on, Zuko. I expect more from Zuko. I don't expect him to be just a hothead. Where's Sokka? I'm not sure. And you know, he gotta feel like a failure. These dangerous hands must be crushed. Oh, sh. Oh, they not playing. <laughs> yes! Zuko, let's go! I'm rooting for them. I don't care. This is gonna be lit. Let's go. The choreography they use is so damn nice for this. How y'all getting served on y'all's home court? Now, would you please put on some clothes? See, in. And that's why I like Zuko's character too. Even though he's a high head and he's so worried about the avatar, he was able to make the choice that, yo, I'm getting my uncle, bro. Like, f all that. I was exiled and this motherfucker is still there for me. I'm taking care of him. And I'm sorry for people who uh, don't know that I cuss a lot. So you've seen any of my other reactions on some movies, you will know. A sailor, I have a sailor's tongue. I apologize for that. But I'm going to keep doing it as well. That thing is huge. Katara comes in clutch again. No way. You could give us some supplies and some money. Hey, no, dead ass though. It would be an honor to Ace. Prepare. I'm with Soka. But the solstice is tomorrow. Perfect. So we don't have to wait long. The island is in the Fire Nation. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Great episode. Um, I'm happy that Katara played a significant role, even though she wasn't even in the episode that much. Um, you get to see that the message that she gave Aang when he was feeling down is what he passed on to the um, spirit creature later in the episode. He said he had some help. I feel like he was talking uh, kind of about the dragon and stuff like that, but even Katara played a big role in that too. Zuko and his uncle showing their craftiness and their... Um, you know, their hand-to-hand -hand combat skills was dope and Zuko making that decision to go and save his uncle instead of just being so hot-headed about trying to get Aang, even though, you know, that's like his main objective. And he obviously he wants to get home, but he, he chose he chose to, to ride for his, for his dude at that time. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm about to watch another episode right now. My eyes are starting to feel a little bit more fresh every day. I'm not going to press too hard, but... I'm loving this show and I feel good. So let's, let's watch, let's watch at least one more. <laughs> Book of Water, Avatar Roku, part two, chapter eight. I don't know why I just said all that, but it just made me feel like official. <laughs> the world can't afford to lose you to the Fire Nation. Neither can I. Oh, Katara. I need to get to the fire temple before the sun sets on the solstice. So I don't know what he's going to do. We got your back. Let's go. Oh, uh, Appa loves him. <laughs> Thank you for your... Go. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Zuko, come on, bro. I just finished gushing over how much I love your character, bro. I mean, I know you got to do what you got to do to get... Back to your home, your nation too, but damn. Have you completely forgotten that the You're fire banished. Lord banished you? Aang, we got trouble. Realistically, y'all can outmaneuver. They can't do all the things y'all can do in the air. Couldn't you shoot them down with something more fragrant? <laughs> can't you make Appa go any faster? Oh, what's going on? Yeah. Adjust the smell. One little problem. 
a blockade. Ooh. Oh, shit. it's a rat. He's not gonna push through that. Please, please, Zuko. If the Fire Nation captures you, there's nothing I can do. This show is so good at the cat and mouse game. And then you throw in the extra element of the Fire Nation exiling Zuko. So now his uncle has to react to that. This is the first time we almost see him get out of character. Where he's been smooth, cool, calm, collected the whole time. Now that his, his nephew is in danger, he seems a little rattled. He's like, yo, like I, I really don't want you to get you know arrested or shit like this. Like you, You're making dumb decisions. And then... Aang and Katara are having their their back and forth where they're both technically right. It's it's just this show this show does a lot of things well, and then you just have that those drums that shit pounding in the back, so you feel on edge. Like I can't imagine watching this at ten. I would have been like, Pah! this would have been my favorite show. Run the blockade! I just gave you credit for not being hot headed. This must be my lucky day. This is the same dude. There's a fire navy ship out there, sir. What if it's hit? So be it. It belongs to a traitor. I thought he was banished, not a... Well, he's exiled, but it, he's also a traitor, too. That's great. Oh, my God. They are trying to kill this boy. Appa, are you okay? Oh, they done pissed Appa off. <laughs> awesome shot. Oh, my God. Through the clouds and shit. Boy, can you imagine? F that what? Let's go, Appa. Hell no. They try to make it a little funny, and that would be scary as. Shit. Get it, eh? He's so clean. Dog, he's like ten years old. Come on, dog. That mother is raw. I better certainly banished Prince will know. No, don't ask me no questions after you just try to kill us. Cut the engines and let them pass. Oh, they just want to trail him. <laughs> yeah, the old sensei beard rub. Yeah, good job, Appa. You went crazy. I'm good. Not you, bruh. I was talking to Appa. Well, I was talking to Momo. <laughs> I am the Avatar. <laughs> we know. <sighs> Come on, man. Split up and find him. Y'all scared of a kid, bruh. Come back. That's not like a comeback of concern. I don't want to fight you. I knew I'm it. A friend. How? He's gonna get destroyed for helping him. <sighs> Zal's already there? The cat and mouse, man. I love it. And, and Zuko's not even there. Because he wants to follow you. I'm a little confused. That must have been like prior what happened because the little cliff note or the subtitle said uh, General Zhao was saying that like he was already on the island. So that's why I was like, oh, Zhao's already there. They lost hope the Avatar would ever return. There's such a running theme in this show about hope and losing it or if you have it and what the possibilities are if you can keep it. Just them losing hope in the Avatar ever coming back just turned them into seeing the Avatar and wanting to you know attack him similar to the episode where we had the the earthbenders and how their will was just broken to the point where they could listen to a whole speech from katara and the general that was out there let her finish the speech because he was like i already know their will is broken like it's not gonna change and this is all coming from a kid's show dude they got messages in here thank you for helping me <clears throat> you still smile kind of evil bro <laughs> five fire blasts huh I think I can help you out. You got some coal on you? Zhao will follow the smoke trail while I use it as a cover. Something's gonna happen to Zuko now that he's in land that he's exiled from and he's by himself. It's almost sunset. Are you ready? Gotta be ready. Ain't got no, ain't got no choices. Still locked. <gasps> Boy. Locked? Dog. There better not be a part three. We gotta, okay, we got eight minutes. Figure it out, Aang. You're a genius. Wait, how is Sokka a genius? Plan didn't even work. <laughs> Sokka's plan didn't work, but it looks like it did. Oh, they need to get in there too now. Open the doors immediately. Oh, the freaking lemur went through. We've been tricked. That's enough to defeat y'all. Perfect. Hey, now's your chance. The Avatar Suko, no, bro. Why are you here? 
You gotta get away from him, man. I'm sorry, Zuko. You gotta go. Yo, Zuko showing up was crazy. <laughs> so why isn't anything happening? Maybe you should get closer before these mothers get in there. Oh, perfect. Avatar Roku doesn't want us inside. Why isn't anything happening? Walk up, my boy. It's good to see you, Aang. <laughs> he knows him by name, too. Oh, this turd, dude. Oh my god. Sooner or later, he has to come out. He finna f y'all up when he come out though. He gonna be all hyped up on that avatar juice. Arrows glowing. Fire Lord Sozin used that comet to begin the war. He made them stronger. Yes, stronger than you could even imagine. Sozin's comet will return by the end of this summer. He ain't got no time. <laughs> I turn that off door. Dragon the way he roared. But I haven't even started learning water bending. Not it, to mention earth and fire. And he's a child. But if the world is to survive, you have months. You must do it by summer's end. That may that means if he does that, Aang is the greatest avatar of all time. Like you know how people do tier lists on YouTube and shit? He has to technically be the greatest avatar if he's able to do all this by summer's end. They even tell us what time it is, but they're making it sound like it's already summer. And why didn't, uh, I wish Roku or Roku would have explained why he disappeared. You know, like what happened to him? Did he just die of old age? Cause like, where were you? Cause even in the intro, when they're talking about when the world needed him most, he disappeared. I know they, sh they, they're probably talking about aim, but they show Roku, but like, what happened? I don't know. I have questions. When you need to talk to me again, you will find a way. This show's sick. I can help you face the threat. I told you he finna be on some avatar juice. <laughs> I'm ready. He finna go crazy on y'all. The steam. If he bends this fire. Oh, oh this fucking popped out. Yeah. That's clean as fuck. Zuko, no, he need to get out of there. His fire hot as shit. And this music too, all triumphant and shit. Y'all gotta fly out of there. Where's Appa? Let's go. Only Shayu helped the Avatar. Save your stories for the Fire Lord. <laughs> Snitching. You wanna blame them because you're bad at your shit too. Yeah, why aren't you at the Fire Nation? You must be kind of shit too, you know? I love their relationship. What a shot too. It's 10 out of 10. Um, I said a lot during the episode as far as the conclusion goes. I can't even, I'm honestly so happy with that episode. I don't really have a conclusion. I need to get my thoughts kind of together. I, I, I thought it was awesome. The, the Roku scene where he took over for Aang and it was showing him like, like he bossed up on the rest of the fire, the firebender and just the way he looked at them, looked at them, he looked at them like they were traitors. So I, I really liked that touch. Um, Zuko showing up was crazy. And then I, I spoke already about the um, the dynamics between Katara and Aang and, um, you know, uh, Zuko's uncle and how he was, this is like the first time we ever got to see him kind of like a little bit rattled because, you know, his nephew was in in danger of being like captured and shit like that. And, you know, he just seemed like that kind of had him stirred up a little bit. I, I really loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, I have two more episodes I'm going to add to this reaction, so I'm going to cut this one off here. Um, hopefully that little conclusion suffices for you guys as we get ready for episode nine. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Well, I don't need to say thank you for watching. Well, if this is your last episode that you're watching, thank you for stopping by. If you're still rocking with me, we got episode nine and ten coming up, so thank you. The waterbending scroll. They got scrolls. Okay. Pretty much mastered airbending, and that only took you 112 years. <laughs> I'm sure you can master three more elements by next summer. Next summer. Oh, so he's got time. Calm down. It's going to be okay. The calming voice, Katara. Oh, look how happy they are. <laughs> Appa chilling. Could clean the gunk out of Appa's toes. Oh, uh, ain't no way. You've changed our course for a stupid lotus tile? Just give me 10 minutes to check the He's so nonchalant. <laughs> Now I'd be mad about that too. Yeah, I don't get too happy. And this is why Appa loves you. If you keep practicing, I'm sure eventually. Hey, I'm bending it already. 
Wow, what? I can't believe you got that so quickly. That's insane. This is a more difficult move. He better not figure this right out too. It's harder than it looks, so don't be disappointed if Yo, they are wildin' with how good he is at this shit already. I mean I guess he is the avatar, but damn. You gonna drop it? Yo, he's insane. He's got the cheat code, you know? <laughs> what else you got? That's it. That's enough practicing for <laughs> Brave enough to look into this bag. I love that even the background characters sometimes have a lot of style to them. It doesn't even work. Watch that whistle come in handy. Yeah, something's up with that. Check out these crazy moves. Where did you Perfect. get a waterbending scroll? Up north. At a most reasonable price, free. Yeah, see, now nah, he evil. Watch and learn. He finna tell you hell, nah. One copper piece. <laughs> hey, you get back here. She took it. Katara took they shit. Well, she stole it from the Steelers. Typical pirates pulling out blades and shit on kids. Well, at least how they depict them in shows. Mm. <sighs> His cabbage. Every person who has cabbage in the show shit gets ruined. It's the same guy. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's gonna be our running joke. It's good to know this trip was a complete waste of time for everyone. <laughs> Suko, bruh. I'm happy Katara has someone practice. You know what? I didn't notice. Obviously, Katara's taking that scroll to help Aang, but this is the first time she's actually had a guide of how to use her water bending too, and she took it from scoundrels, anyways, right? That's that's dope. Like, obviously. And she wants to practice first. Like this is her first time we get to see this stuff. That's that's awesome. Oh shit! Ooh. She's only interested in teaching herself. Aang will get his turn once I figure out the water whip. Mm. He finna do it easy as. You just gotta shift your weight through the stasis. Will you please shut your air hole? Believe it or not, your infinite wisdom gets a little old sometimes. <laughs> Why don't we just throw the scroll away since you're so naturally? Yo, it's all. <laughs> At the end of the day, you have to remember that they're still kids, and obviously, you know, she wants to be good at that. It was surprising that she blew up on Aang, but like I said, they're kids, and watching somebody excel at something that you wanted to do your entire life has to be a little frustrating. They stole a water bending scroll, right? Mm hmm. Then they'll be on the water. He brought that fool with him. Oh, and they lit a fire? No. Shh. <laughs> okay, Katara, shift your weight through the stances. Ugh. Already got her. Yes. I'll save you from the pirates. Tell me where he is, and I won't hurt you or your brother. Go jump in the river. <laughs> Perhaps in exchange, I can restore something you've lost. Oh, that's right. I forgot he had that. I wonder how much money this is worth. Oh sh! Don't do that. Now you help me find what I want. You'll get this back. Yeah, them pirates. Y'all thought y'all was evil. I ran into Zuko. He don't play no games. Go Sokka. Woke up on fight in fight mode. Airbin. I'm not good enough to kidnap. Sokka. Oh god, brother. This is all my fault. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> You're really gonna hand over the avatar for a stupid piece of parchment? Oh, they don't even know his avatar. You'll regret breaking a deal with me. Oh, oh these pirates ain't no chumps. <laughs> At first. They're trying to kill this mother. Where I can't find you. Blow all that smoke away, bro. Oh well, maybe not. <laughs> Help me get this boat back in the water so we can get out of here. You thought you're gonna push that by yourself? Nice. <laughs> Are you so busy fighting you cannot see your own ship has set sail? We have no time for your proverbs, Uncle. No, he's dead ass. <laughs> And they took your sh while you laughing. And he mooned you. Yo, Aang is already strong as f water bending. Come on, Katara. Yes, ma'am. Will you too quick congratulate me help me out? Momo is having a fight right now. Smarter. 
I, I said I know that's gonna come in handy. Oppa's gonna come there. Together, push and pull the water. Really? All right. Yeah, but now y'all have to keep doing that. Bro, do they not care about falling off this shit either? There he is. Just in time. The lotus tile was in my sleeve the whole time. I would have lit it on fire too. Who needs that stupid scroll anyway? Is that really how you feel? Good job, Soka. What did you learn? Dealing is wrong, unless it's from pirates. Dope. I already kind of spoke about the things that I liked about the episode. I got one more to record for this part, and then um, I'll try to have a conclusion for you guys. If you're watching, I appreciate you for sticking by, and uh, let's keep it going. Oh my God, caught, brother. All right, you do. <laughs> Somebody's about to be pissed. Too noticeable. A flying boxer? Sokka's I mean, just so jealous because he doesn't have an arrow. I'm gonna call him Soka. I know his name's Saka, but I'm gonna call him Soka. Soka, as much as he's like an irritant sometimes for like for them, or he has a opposing opinion, a lot of times he'd be right about a lot of shit too. And I think his sister's just about to ask him, like, what makes you think you can lead us or something like that? I'm not the boss, I'm the leader. <laughs> You're the leader? Who knows? Walking might be fun. Walking stinks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of carrying this pack. You know who you should ask to carry it for a while? Sokka's instincts. Yo, she a smart ass, bro. <laughs> but the important thing is that we're safe from the Fire Nation. Boy, ain't no way. <gasps> Immediately. Oh, she carries water with her now. That's dope. Oh, they're getting some help. Thank you. Nice. He got the Movado swords. An archer. And he's badass. Hey, he was mine. Gotta be quicker next time. Oh my god. A log? Yeah. Let's leave him alone. Ran up him like martial hey. law. The dude and Pipsqueak. <laughs> Pipsqueak, that's a funny name. You think my name is funny? Boy! <laughs> <laughs> we were relying on instincts. You get yourself killed doing that. I'll get up on my own. They don't even seem to care about him bending air. Oh, I ain't gonna be jealous as hell. <laughs> braver than a guy in a treehouse. Don't pay any attention to my brother. He keep it real though. Fire Nation killed my parents. Of course. I was only eight years old. Avatar, huh? Very nice. <laughs> Why is he so cool? <laughs> I needed you on an important mission tomorrow. Uh oh, he liked that. What mission? He liked that. <laughs> Wait, yes. Someone's approaching. Ready your weapon. Mm mm. <laughs> he done messed up. Oh, he got it right. He's just an old man. Mm -mm. Oh, sh do you like destroying families? Do you? Oh, uh, does the Fire Nation have mercy? So he's like the opposite side of the same coin of what's going on with them. Like, instead of just re like he's rebelling, but in a way where he's like the equivalent to what Jason Todd is to, to Batman, where Batman doesn't kill anybody on a very minuscule level, he will harm in innocent people and do all kinds of just to protect his area. This doesn't feel right. It's what has to be done. Sick up to him, Soka. Ow, it. <laughs> Made him this hat. Oh, uh, girl. He was sent to eliminate me. You helped save my life, Sokka. I knew there was an explanation. Mm. I didn't see any knife. I'm a Sokka. Jeff's very smooth, but we can't trust him. <laughs> you know what I think? You're jealous that he's a better warrior and a better leader. Stay here a little longer and help Jet. They're always in these predicaments where like two things can be right at the same time. Like, yeah, they, they're basically bandits. What about the people in the town? Won't they get wiped out too? That's the price of ridding this area of the fire nation. Bro, okay, he's wilding. Where do you think you're going? Damn, knife up to his neck. Yo, these kids. 
<laughs> These kids here. Because they don't understand the demands of war. Not like you and I do. Bro, he's manipulating. I'm sorry about how Sokka's been acting. Ask where your brother's at. I guess something you said got through to him. Yo, dude is so smooth right now. I've never used bending on water I can't see. He's gonna get mad at her. You can do this. Yo! When we're done, we'll meet you over there. Actually, probably better if you meet me back at the hideout when you're done. Fucking <laughs> snake, dude. I'm sure he'll be happy to see us. She is really obsessed with this boy. Why would they need blasting jelly? Because Jet's gonna blow up the dam. Katara. Jet wouldn't do that. Katara, let it go. Jet wouldn't do that. Yes, I would. <laughs> Why? Think about what the Fire Nation did to your mother. Now this should be great because now that she knows that he's off the rails, she's known for her speeches. So she's gonna try and probably try and convince old boy to, you know, be better. But you got Aang here with her too. So Aang, after he decides he ain't finna listen to her, Aang gonna have to put some fist on him. Where's Sokka? Katara. Oh, he grabbing her face and shit. Okay, she put him down. This kid, Jet. He's keeping up, kind of. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoever's thinking about the actions they, that they should perform is amazing. Not him crawling up the tree and shit. Slow mo, too? Bro, it's relentless, bro. Let it go. Good. She needed to get over whatever she was going through with this dude. He ain't even trying to hear that. He calling for backup. He is not worried about the sentiment. You're too late. No. Oh, you're trying to get them to break the dam. Come on, Sokka. Leader time. <laughs> oh, sh he didn't make it. This kid has really f***ed up a whole entire village. Showing the doll is crazy. I warned the villagers of your plan just in time. Thank you. Good, bro. He's finna kill. Kids. Yip yip. <laughs> Yo, that yip yip was crazy. Let me guess. Your instincts told you. Hey, sometimes they're right. You know we're going the wrong way, right? And sometimes they're wrong. Great episode. Great episode for Sokka. And Katara, I don't know what was going on with Katara. I guess she just a handsome dude, charming, and just wanted to trust everything he was saying. But he's been, you know, um hurt by the fire nation and what they did to his family in a way. I mean, you can kind of understand it, but there, there's extremes. There's, there's points where you're just going too far and him wanting to like risk kids, not even risk willing to kids and stuff like that. He was just going too far, man. But I love that everybody came together in the end. And then it seems like every character has a role to play. Like you think like what happened with the old man was very insignificant, but he's the only person in the village that was believing, uh, Sokka into getting everybody out the village. So they tied everything back up in the end. Man, I, I love this one as well. Avatar, this is only episode 10. I think there's like 60 or some episodes of Avatar. I'm looking forward to watching all of it. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be so many highs, so many lows and I mean lows as far as like emotional lows, like I'm, I'm ready for it. And um, this is, this should be um, part two of book one. I'm gonna break it into four parts. I've said that a couple of times already, but I don't know who's all watching what parts and, and not. So um, if you did see this one, I appreciate you for watching it. All of these, all of season one, before I put anything on YouTube, all of it will be done. So if you want to see my full length reactions to every episode of Avatar with a better quality of the, the video, I won't have to make the small square like I do on YouTube. I'll make it like the actual, um, I'm, I'll actually like have myself like in the corner and have the screen big and stuff like that. So if y'all want to see it like that, you can shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys for um, supporting all the time. And um, even you guys on YouTube too. Thank you for clicking on the video because without the support on YouTube, these will become Patreon exclusives. Um, if people on Patreon want me to continue them. So once again, I appreciate everybody and everybody have a blessed